The Animal Kingdom. We can never really get enough of it. Oh man, how many times have I actually said that for these videos? See, the thing with animals is that they always surprise us. And also on this channel, we really like them. Sometimes they do funny things, sometimes they do silly things, sometimes they're even heroes, sometimes they want to kill ya. Mainly the kill you part. Although, funnily enough, some of them can even turn into evil geniuses. In today's video, we'll be looking at 20 animals that are evil geniuses. Number 20. The Margay. This small and wild cat is native to Central and South America, and like all of its relatives, the cat loves to play and hunt. But as opposed to other members of the feline family, the Margay gets its prey in a very unique way. It's been recorded that the Margay learned to imitate the sounds of a pied tamarind baby in distress. So when adult pied tamarinds hear the cry, they come to check on their baby, only to realize that they've been fooled by a very clever and hungry Margay. And that is how this sneaky cat attacks the innocent pied tamarinds. Number 19. Orcas. Tell me, what's your dream career? I don't know about you, but when I was a little kid, I actually wanted to be a marine biologist. Sadly, I never got that chance. Though, in order to be one, you need to know everything about the organisms that live in the ocean, or at least as much as you can find. And it seems like there's someone down there who's been doing their homework when it comes to marine studies. I'm talking about the orcas, who somehow learned that sharks become paralyzed when they're flipped with their bellies up. That's why orcas ram them and flip them when they want to hunt them. And then they oh so playfully rip out their livers and eat them. Oh boy, the life of a shark. Number 18. Cuckoos. Birds are hard-working animals and they're very creative. I mean, just look at their nests. They're natural-born architects and they're very smart animals. And some of them are smarter but also lazier than the others. For example, the cuckoos. These birds lay their eggs in other birds' nests so other birds can do the work of taking care of their kids for them. And if that wasn't enough, some people say that they've seen little cuckoos pushing the original eggs out of the nest where they were placed. Number 17. Red Foxes. Different animals use different tools or skills to get to their prey. And when it comes to red foxes, they use the Earth's magnetic field to make sure that they find underground rodents. But how does that work? First, they use their hearing to track the rodent's location, and then they align their movements with Earth's magnetic field. This is to make sure they catch the animal that they so desperately want to hunt. Number 16. Drongos. Here is another animal that imitates sound to get what it wants. The drongos are really good at imitating the sounds of predators and the alarm calls of a species just to scare animals away and steal their stuff. Some people have observed drongos following meerkats with their food, and then all of a sudden the drongo emits false alarm calls that scare the meerkat, which allows it to steal the food. Not cool, drongos. Not cool. That meerkat worked hard for that food. Number 15. Boxer Crabs. Many humans exploit animals, there's no doubt about that. And people who do that should be stopped. But you might be surprised to know that humans are not the only ones practicing animal exploitation. The boxer crabs are known for making stinging boxing globes out of sea anemones. And if the crab loses one of the anemones, it can easily make another one. Anemones reproduce asexually, which means that they can regenerate into new organisms as you split them in half. That's why the boxer crab can easily make new pairs of anemones whenever they feel like they need new punching gloves. Number 14. Cuttlefish. This is perhaps the sneakiest fish in the ocean. The males have mastered the crime of stealing someone's girlfriend, and the way the male does this is by getting in between a couple and camouflaging half of their body as male to attract the female, and half their body as female to make the unsuspecting husband believe that their partner is just hanging out with another girl. We can learn all the wrong lessons from cuttlefish. Number 13. Alligators. Just the look of an alligator should be more than enough to keep its prey away. But if there's something else that should scare us, it's their intelligence. Alligators sometimes use a worm-like appendage in their tongue to lure fish, frogs, turtles, and other small animals into its waiting mouth. These poor animals step into the trap, thinking they've found food when actually they're the ones who end up becoming someone else's meal. Number 12. Squirrels. Oh, my sister-in-law's gonna hate this one. You might see them running around the forest without anything big going on in their lives, but squirrels are very smart when it comes to protecting their food. When they want to save their food for later, they carry it tucked inside their cheeks until they find a safe place to bury it. But if they feel like they're being watched, they'll just dig a hole and pretend to spit the food and cover the hole with debris just to get watchers off their back. 
Once they feel safe, they keep going around and hold on to their food until they find a more private spot. Okay, actually, I didn't say anything bad about squirrels. Crisis averted. Number 11. Black Herons. Black herons love to eat fish, but sometimes these birds have to go to extreme measures to get their favorite meal. If you see them expanding their wings in a circular way, it's probably because they want to get food. They do this to cover the sun and create a shadow on the water that makes fish feel safe. And when the fish feels safe, they come up to the surface, which gives the herons a perfect opportunity to get lunch. Number 10. Bottlenose Dolphins. Male bottlenose dolphins have been known for creating alliances in order to get the attention of female dolphins. The way they do that is by attacking other male alliances to keep them away from the fertile females and showing their dominance within the group. It's pretty wild and shocking to see all the thought they put into this process. Like a messed up Total Drama Island episode. Number 9. Spiders. Spiders are very smart. Some of them have traveled thousands of miles without us even noticing. They do this by ballooning, a process in which they climb to a high point, spin a few strands of silk, and then float away with some help from the air. It'd be graceful if it weren't so terrifying. Speaking of terrifying, it's even worse when many spiders are ballooning together, because they can create one scary picture. Kinda like those pictures of Australia that show large fields full of spider webs. Don't let this scare you though, somehow. It's simply just a bunch of spiders working hard to travel places, but it certainly does look like it's from some crazy nightmare. Number 8. Sharks. While there are plenty of animals that are smarter than the sharks, they still have some impressive abilities. For example, they learn how to track and use the light of the sun to hunt their prey. They usually hunt with the sun shining behind them, which makes the glare of the sunlight less annoying and also allows them to focus on their target. Number 7. Peacocks. Male peacocks make a special kind of sound when they're ready to have babies with their female partners. But sometimes they use this sound only to show off and attract even more females. While this sound is meant to be a sign of the mating season, the male peacocks sometimes use it only to attract more females and show off. Number 6. Sperm Whales. If you love fishing, you might want to stay away from the sperm whales in Alaska. These huge animals are known for stealing fish from fishing boats, and they usually sit around these boats and wait for the right moment to use their massive jaws and steal the catch from these hard-working fishermen. But hey, you can't really complain about this one. That's just how nature works. The smartest one is the one who wins, and in this case, the winner goes to the sperm whales. Sorry, fishermen. Number 5. Caterpillars. How do you avoid getting eaten by an animal that's bigger than you? Well, you can try disguising yourself as a pile of poop. I'm sure there aren't many predators who are interested in getting close to that. And you know who discovered this particularly disgusting tactic? The caterpillar. These small animals discovered that they look less appetizing to birds when they resemble the looks of a pile of poop. But hey, no shame on that. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive. Number 4. Moths. Moths and bats are mortal enemies, and moths have a huge disadvantage mainly due to their size, but that doesn't stop them from using their intelligence to keep bats away and get what they want. Some male moths learn to mimic the sound of bats, which makes females freeze and gives the males the opportunity to get close and, uh, mate with them. And then there are some moths that emit a special sound when they've eaten a distasteful substance. This substance is not appealing to bats, and that's why the moths learn to use the sound to scare bats away, even if they're feeling fine. Number 3. Crows. Some animal species are mortal enemies, like I just said. But then there's the crow, an animal that can actually hold grudges against specific people. Now, they don't necessarily learn to hate the human species, but they can learn to hate one person and pass on that feeling to the young ones. Scientists have observed that these birds have a very well-developed photographic memory that allows them to remember any specific person who has hurt them. So you better not cross their paths, or you might be in trouble for a very long time. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The picture I chose for today shows two ocean animals in what seems to be an already won battle for the dolphin. But sometimes octopuses can be smarter than dolphins. Let's see how with number two. Octopus. The octopus is one of the many animals that dolphins like to eat, but that doesn't mean that the octopus will easily give in and become a dolphin's meal. 
The octopuses have learned to attach their tentacles to the dolphin's throats to suffocate them in the event of an attack. Sometimes the tentacles are so big that they end up blocking the dolphin's airways and kill them. This is why dolphins have learned a technique called shake and toss to avoid this type of incident. So who's the smarter of these two? Well, I guess it'll always be a consistent battle, but my money's on the dolphin. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Tufted Capuchin Monkeys At the top of the list, we have some cute monkeys from South America. And just like any other monkey, the Tufted Capuchin loves to eat bananas. The problem here is that sometimes the older monkeys hoard the food and they don't like to share it with the younger ones. That's why the little ones learn to make fake alarm calls that scare the old ones and grant them access to the bananas. The old monkeys are smart enough to realize that they've been deceived, but still, the little ones get enough time to get at least a couple of bananas to satisfy their own cravings. Animals will do anything to survive, or again, get laid, even if that means turning into an evil genius. Which of these animals was the most impressive? Are there any other smart geniuses that we didn't mention today? Let us know in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, that's our video for the day, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.